Building with Papa. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Well, this video is about how to read a tape measure. As you can see, at the end of your tape measure, where you have the one inch mark, it's tough to read these, but you can. I'm going to do an outline. So I'm gonna start at the one inch, between the one and the two inch, so I can identify all the tick marks for you and help you to be able to read your tape measure. Okay, this one is a common tape measure that I use a lot. I like this one because it's wider. I can extend it longer. And they make a lot of different tape measures. Okay, so these are the tick marks that you would find on a tape measure. And when you have a tape measure, we're going to start this one at one inch. And this, we will call it two inches. Now all these tick marks in between your one and two inch are the same on all the inches on your tape measure. So your longer tick marks, marks on your tape measure are your inch marks whether it's one, two, three, four, okay? Now, in between them, your next longest tick mark is here, it's called the half inch. So you have your, your inch mark is your longer tick mark, your next tick mark, longest one, in between there is your half inch. Then, your next tick mark, the next longest one that goes in between here, your next longest one is your quarter inch mark. Okay, so you would have your, your one inch, your quarter, your half, and then your three quarter. Okay. And then your next inch mark. All right. Now we go to the next tick mark. You can see how they, your tick marks are longer and so that you can identify between your inch marks, your next one is your half, your next one is your quarters, and then your next one is your eighths. So that's one eighth. This would be two eighths. This would be three eighths. This would be four eighths. This would be five eighths. This would be six eighths, and this would be seven eighths. Okay. Now, don't forget, you have your longest ones, which are your inch. Your next longest one is your half inch. Your next longest one is your quarter. Then it moves to your eighth inch. And then the smallest tick mark on this particular ruler is going to be your sixteenth. Sixteenth. That would be two sixteenths. This would be three sixteenths. This would be four sixteenths. This would be five sixteenths. 
six sixteenths, seven sixteenths, eight sixteenths, this would be nine sixteenths. Then that would be ten sixteenths, eleven sixteenths. Twelve sixteenths, thirteen sixteenths. Fourteen sixteenths and fifteen sixteenths. Okay. Now that breaks them all down. This is a wider version for you to be able to see it more clearly. This is your tape measure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve inches, which makes a foot. So that's one foot. And if someone said to you, I wanna I want two feet, it's spelled out very clearly. 24 inches is 2 feet. Okay? But all of this is in between every inch. So if somebody asked you for 15 and 5 eighths, you would be right here. 15 and 5 eighths. Okay? So it doesn't matter if it's 1 or 21, all of these in between your inch marks read the same. The only thing that changes would be the number for the inch. I hope that helps you. Make a comment, give a thumbs up, a thumbs down, whatever you want to do. Okay, building with Papa. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. I'll see you on the next one.